Hello, hello, crafty peeps. Welcome back to my channel, Crafty Ish Kristen. Today I have a year in review for you guys. Uh, these are all of the diamond paintings that I finished in 2023. I started diamond painting in March. Um, so yeah, this is this is what I've done. This is my diamond painting logbook. As you can see, it is not fancy. And I purposely put those stickers there because I thought it looked funny like he was um, pooping out the stickers because that's my sense of humor. So let's get started. Some of these, I do not have the actual diamond paintings um, with me, like they're on the wall or I've gifted them. So I will put a picture, you know, somewhere in the screen when it comes up to those. So number one, this little budget friendly one I purchased, I think from Timu. It is a 30 by 40. The quality was not the best. I'm not going to lie. Uh, my placement was also uh, not the best. And there were a few that, um, like this cat right here, he was actually the same cat color as like this one or one of these. I don't know. The colors were not labeled properly. Like even though I had never done a diamond painting, I could tell that based on like the photo up here that the colors were not right. So I was actually at, um, what's it called? Joanne's or whatever. And they had the little bottle of diamond dots. And so I actually purchased a gray and a, like, I think this darker purple. And so if there was one cat that looked like it was the same color as its neighbor, then I just kind of changed it. So I guess technically I have modified a diamond painting. <laughs> Go me. So that is finish number one. I'm going to open my log book just so I can, I'm trying to go in order. Okay. So number two, abstract cat. I will put a photo up while I am talking about it. This was my first, first diamond art club. I did purchase it at Joann's and it was my first square and I really enjoyed it. I did paint the edges and, um, yeah, it was a mess guys. I took it outside and it was windy and yeah, not my finest moment. Um, but it's done and my daughter wanted to put stickers around the outside. So that is finish number two. This one right here, this is a story. So this is a Mandy Manzano from Diamond Art Club. It's called Read Me a Bedtime Story. I got this one and I tried to work on it, guys. I tried really hard, but, but the diamonds were not sticking to the canvas. And I tried, you know, the baby wipes. I reached out to Diamond Art Club and, you know, they said, you know, try this, try this. Nothing worked. Like if I just ran my fingers over the, the painting, even just a little bit, the diamonds would fall off. And it was one of the older kits where the, um, the circles were white but then the background would be black and it was just, it was a mess. I, ugh. so I, I finally reached out to him and I was like, I'm not happy, you know, cause it says on the bottom of their thing, you know, happiness, lifetime warranty, you know, guaranteed. Um, so they did offer me a refund, but they do not pay to ship things back to them. So I ended up paying $14 to mail the canvas back to them. I will never do that again because uh, yeah, I kind of don't think that's really the way to do it. If, if there's a problem with the, with the product, then, you know, I feel like I shouldn't have to pay to send it back. So I'm really careful about what I order from camp, uh, companies just because yeah. Anyways, number three, private collection. This one is dry mounted. So I'm gonna pull this up. Hopefully don't get, oh, sorry. Uh, I did get this dry mounted. I kind of dry mounted a lot of them. And then I was like, why am I putting all these on things that I can't easily store? So, you know, think about it before you do it. Um, this is also Diamond Art Club. I really enjoyed this one. Um, her skin's a little gappy. That's me. That's, that's not the fault of the rendering. But the only thing like I really didn't like about this one, I don't know if you can see, but the color in this butterfly's wings is the same color as the background in the photo. And for some reason that bothered me so much. And I don't know why. I just feel like it should have been white or a different color. But again, I get it. You can only put so many colors in a kit because I think this one had, I don't even remember how many colors, but yeah, 
it had a lot. So, lesson learned. So, there is private collection. Number four is Cosmic Tree of Life. That is a photo that is Dreamer Designs. It is also a square. I did gift this, um, I'll put a picture again, uh, to my sister-in-law for Christmas. So it is no longer in my house and I did have it dry mounted and she actually found a frame for it, which go her, cause I can never find frames. Uh, fat cat is number five. Whoa, watch out cat. Speaking of cats, I have two cats on my table. This is Dreamer Designs. It is a round and I actually really enjoyed doing this one. The round diamonds were super good. They covered the, you know, the, what do you call it? The little spots that the diamonds go on. They covered them really well. I really didn't have any trash drills. So this, this painting restored my faith in humanity for round diamonds. They're still not my favorite, but I know that, oops, just a little bit of fluff that, uh, yeah. So this made me feel better about round diamonds. <laughs> Number, oops, wrong one. Number six is Jasper C. Again with the dry mounting, guys. Again with the dry mounting. Oh, hold on to yourselves. This is one of the first kits I saw in Diamond Art Club. And I started diamond painting, I think when they were trying to like liquidate and move their warehouses. So there was not much on their website that actually was in stock when I first started diamond painting. And I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh. I want that so bad and it was out of stock so when it did finally go back into stock i purchased it and this was actually kind of the inspiration for me trying to find a more abstract paint pour cross stitch conversion so thank you jasper c because without you geode may have never been started so that is start finish start finish start finish number six all right Oh, you go over there, buddy. Hopefully they all don't just fall. Number seven is my longest uh, printed diamond painting. Hold on. Hopefully I don't bend everything. This is a, this is a Gethsemane Diamond Art Club, Manny Manzano. Uh, this was really nice to work on. Um, it is long. It's 90, 92 centimeters by 56. Um, but I did work on it sideways, like, so, you know, <clears throat> that way. And that definitely made it easier. I did not have any issues with this that I can remember. And the ABs were super sparkly and it turned out well. This is actually leaning on my fireplace mantle. So it is being used. I just haven't, I didn't attach it to the wall. Okay, well, let's see, let's see, that's number seven. Uh, keep turning, keep turning, come on. Number eight is, e it's, e God, I can't talk. It's electric. I will put a picture because this is hanging on the wall in my mom's stairwell area. Um, it is a square, again, you can see the theme. And it was really good to do, like, the, the colors on the side were just the right amount of confetti color blocking Tweety was, he was a lot of yellow guys. I did it like, Tweety's face was the very end and uh, whew, I did not want to see yellow again. And all of this light white area, like around Tweety, those were all white ABs. There was a lot of AB color blocking. It was, it, it was almost too much, <laughs> but I persevered. Number nine is Say Cheese. I have a video up about me changing the background color. I will put a picture up because it's hanging on the wall again. And I did paint the edges on that one on camera. It was a mess. Um, so I decided to change the pink background to teal. And then I tried putting some fine glitter in between. I tried originally just staying in the, you know, the color changed areas, but quickly discovered that um, the glitter spread very fast. And true story, there is still some of that glitter stuck in between my table cracks that I cannot get out. But this one was nice. It was around. It worked up super fast. I did order the teal drills um, and I apparently miscalculated how many I needed. So then I had to wait and order more. So otherwise it would have been done super fast. So that is number eight. Number nine. Hang on. 
Let's go through the log ebook. Number 10, probably one of my favorites, honestly. So this, oh my gosh, I'm hitting it. Oh, I'm hitting my, oh my gosh, dining room light. Please don't fall down. Okay, Pleasant Picnic, yay! When they posted the pictures of this one, and this is Diamond Art Club, this is Square, I may have like shrieked audibly um, because like this is my childhood right here. So this was so fun to do. The only parts that I did not like was all of this color blocking. I feel like, and I did a post review and kit down on this, but I honestly feel like they could have done something in the background, like even just some really faint colored bushes like over here. Uh, just that could have been something. I feel like it's just such a cute image and my my crooked multi-placing because again I'm impatient when it comes to color blocking and using that much of one color. I feel like even if they would have just kind of gradually transitioned the, the sky color from like blue to a different blue to a different blue to a different white could have helped. Um, but yes, love, love, love. Highly recommend if you are a uh, 80s baby like myself. All right, number 11. That is it for the dry mounts. Number 11, Twilight Vibes. I accidentally ordered this in round when it came back in stock, uh, but I'm not mad about it. I enjoyed doing this one. It went pretty quick, I have to say. I think it took me 10 days, which is, you know, not too shabby in my opinion. And this is also Diamond Art Glove. This was my first uh, Puffy Gator kit. I really enjoy her artwork. I would definitely do another one if the opportunity arises. Um, there were a few spots that the canvas was a little slippery, uh, but I have not lost any diamonds and this has been like thrown in the corner. So, so far so good. I'm gonna put you over there, friend. Right, that was number 11. Number 12 is O Kitten Tree. Again, I will put a picture because it's on the wall still. This one was so cute to do. Oh my gosh. All the little kitten faces and like just little bursts of detail. And it was really interesting because I wouldn't know what I was doing. Like I would be working on a section and then I would take a step back and I'd be like, oh, that's a wreath or, oh, that's a present. You wouldn't really be able to tell what it is when you were, you know, your face is right there in it. No, this was really enjoyable. Um, there were quite a few colors that were a little low towards the end, but I did not run out of anything. And I think this was the first kit I had that had the fairy dust drills. And uh, I love them so much. Love them so much more than 80s. Oh my gosh, if every kit could just have fairy dust. Awesome. I hope more companies start to do the fairy dusts because they are so much more enjoyable, I think. And they're like, they add such a little subtle thing. I mean, the ABs, you know, they add the bling, but fairy dusts are, they're kind of my favorite now. All right. The pink blue tiger. I didn't grab one of the canvases, guys, because this whole project just has pissed me off. Three canvases and problems with all three of them. Three problems with the drills. I don't know what I'm going to do about it, but right now, all three canvases are shoved in my office and I may not ever do it again. I don't know. Number 13 is Clematis Stained Glass. This is another one when I first started diamond painting that I saw on their website that was not in stock and I was like, holy mother, I need this right now. Because, you know, I'm not a big person diamond painter and there are a lot of persons there's a lot of landscapes but I'm more of an abstract cutesy person so when I saw this I immediately signed up to be notified when it restocked and it we went when it restocked I was like nope I don't even care I ordered it and I was very happy I did not have any issues with it I think there were a few colors that were a little low lower than I would like when I you know I'm finished with the painting but it was good. Very good. And I know this is an older kit, you know, because they, they released it like a long time ago, but this kit would also look amazing with fairy dust drills. All right. Oh, I have a helper, guys. I have a helper. I just can't film a video without one cat walking all over my crap. Thanks. 
And number 14 is Happy Fall. This was my last kind of official finish, I think, for the year. Um, I did not have any issues. There were some drills that were like colors that were trashier than others, but I did not run out of anything. So that is the main, that is the main thing in my opinion. You know, I don't, I don't like having to be picky with my drills, but if the rest of the drills are good, then I'm good. I am not used to this much color blocking, so my placement is not the best, but again, you know, I'm not entering it in a state fair uh, to be the most awesome diamond painter of all awesome diamond painters. So I enjoyed it while I was working on it. And that's really all that matters, right? I will say, I do not like this color. <laughs> I didn't like this color before I did this kit, but I really don't like this color now. I feel like, again, with the strawberry shortcake one, there could have been just some slight variations in the color in the background. I mean, I get it. It's a simple image, but... If it was me, I would make just, you know, like a gradual change or like, you know, color change, just something. Cause I don't know, it just, it looks too close to my skin color for me guys. I don't like it. But again, these guys, so freaking cute. These ABs nearly killed me because this is all ABs. But the ABs in the face were cute. Those were cute. The little highlights in all those. This was the first Bella kit that I have done and I will I have one more and I definitely will be ordering more because I am very pleased with the canvas quality the drills the glue everything was was very premium so it is nice that there are other companies besides you know Diamond Art Club and Dreamer Designs that you can order from and right now I have three different whips guys three and they're all from different companies they're from Calming Canvas Designs uh, Diamond Painting Fanatics and um, Jada Gem Shop. So there are other companies that, you know, I feel like, I feel like are safe to try because it's scary. It's scary to spend your hard earned money on something if you, you know, you don't know. And it's hard because like they can't, you know, offer the free shipping and all the, the stuff. And the last and biggest finish by far. Now, it's not an official fish, official, official finish, but panel one, panel number one of Geode. I did finish that. This is the longest diamond painting I have, and I think it's about 120 centimeters. And I am very pleased with how it is turning out. I'm just trying to scroll it up for you guys. Um, the drills are not amazing. I'm just going to say that. I if you've watched any of my videos, you will know that I am not pleased with the company that I got the drills from, um, lesson learned, but it is so happy, so colorful, and I cannot wait to start on the second canvas very soon. I am going to try in these white drills and some of the, the black ones, not as much, but definitely some of these lighter areas, there is some gapping. So I did buy some white and black mica powder, not fine glitter, mica powder. And I am going to try to just kind of spot check some of those areas. Uh, I don't think I'm going to screw it up, uh, but you know, and maybe I'll try it on video so you all can learn from my mistakes because I'm all about helping and sharing. And I am going to try, I did get some like really thin plastic stuff that's bendable. And I am going to take off the plastic right here and I'm going to try to shove it up as close as I can because I want a straight line because when I have to put the panels together, which I have no clue how I'm going to do that, honestly, you know, you want it to, you want it to look straight. So we will see. That's again, that's, that's a future Kristen problem, <laughs> not a today problem. So there is that. And then I did have some stuff that I did not bring. Like, you know, I've worked on some, some ornaments, some coasters, those kinds of things, keychains. Um, I don't put them in my logbook because, you know, they're just kind of small and they're for fun. So technically I have finished then if Bella Diamonds was technically 14. So I have finished 15 diamond paintings, which I mean, I feel like that's pretty dang good. You know, they're all very decently sized. And then this is my current works in progress. So I have this Layers of Ocean Magic, Calming Canvas Designs. This is a confetti lover's paradise right here. So I'm working like 
one line and then take a break on something else. Working one line, take a break. Because I don't want to get burned out because I'm really excited to see how it turns out. Um, I have this one. This is Harold the Fancy Goldfish from Jada Gem Shop. I am almost done with this one, so I should have a kidding down post review on this one. And then Wanna Play from Diamond Painting Fanatics. Wait, there's a missing page in here. What is that? Oh yes, okay. So so yeah, those are my current current whips. And that is my diamond painting year in review. It's a little bit late, but you know what? Done is better than not done, as far as I'm concerned. So what do you guys think? Do you have a favorite from the ones that I did? And how many, how many diamond paintings did you finish? Or what was your favorite diamond painting that you finished for the year? I know I'm not the only one, at least in the comments and stuff that I've read that just started diamond painting this year. Um, so yeah, I would love to know. When did you start? Tell me all the things, guys. I want to know. But you know, I don't want to be like all creepy. No creepy stalkerish, okay? Anyways, all right, this video is getting weird. We better go. So uh, if you have not, please consider liking and subscribing, sharing, hearting, farting, doing all the things. It helps the YouTube, you know, stuff do what it needs to do, I guess. I don't fully understand it. I just want to make some videos and diamond paint and, you know, that kind of jazz. I do have a Facebook group. The link will be below in the description box. So if you would like to join the Facebook group and share your whips, see some funny pictures, people like to share pictures of their pets, their works in progress, you know, it's a good, happy, encouraging, safe place for everyone to hang out. All I ask is that you're, you know, kind and considerate of others. And anything else, anything else, anything else? Probably, but I can't think of it. So I'm going to let you guys go. Until next time, big awkward hugs. Bye, guys.